Welcome to the Home Tip Show. This ring camera located in the soffit area above this garage is the camera that provides video surveillance of the driveway area in front of this house. When installing this ring solar panel for the camera, I was concerned that the solar panel wouldn't receive enough sunlight to charge the camera battery. My concern stemmed from the fact that the panel would only receive direct sunlight in the very early morning hours for maybe an hour or so, depending upon the season. During the rest of the day, the sun is completely behind the house, so the panel only receives indirect sunlight to keep the camera battery charged. So before mounting the solar panel, I decided it would be prudent to perform some testing for a few days. I temporarily secured the panel in the approximate location where I felt like it had the best chance of receiving maximum sunlight throughout the year. Then I monitored the battery charge level of the camera using the Ring app on my phone. What I learned was even though the panel received nearly zero direct sunlight, the indirect sunlight it received was enough, even on overcast days, to keep the battery charge to 100%. At the end of the night, the lowest I ever saw the camera battery drop to during my test period was 98%. Now, as of today, the panel's been charging the camera for over two years and it has never dropped below 95% at night. So. The bottom line is, while you should always avoid placing solar panels in, in darker, shady, shady areas, and of course, direct sunlight is always preferred, indirect sunlight is sufficient for charging your ring camera. If you like this video, please help us out and subscribe.